Squarespace website for artists tutorial how to create a website. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create a website using Squarespace. So in order to get started we need to visit squarespace.com, their homepage here, so we can view some information about their products, templates and resources. If you are new to this platform you just simply need to click on get started and after that create an account. It's available with Gmail, Facebook or we can use your email. So I have one, so I'm just going to account dashboard, you'll come to this outer registration page. So from this page here, we can manage all of our uh, websites. As you can see, I have three, we can just simply click on more, we can like manage billing information, settings, duplicate the website or delete. And we have a domain, domain folders where we can manage all of our domains here. In the right top corner, we can also click on our avatar and manage our profile information, account and security, notifications, language and so on. So let's click on create a website on dashboard folder to start creating our website as an artist. And here we are on our templates area. As you can see, we have like different types here like online store, portfolio, membership, blog, scheduling and one page. And there is like also different categories like art and design, photography, health and beauty, personal and CV, fashion, travel and so on. So of course, if you're going to create the pages and artists, you maybe want to choose the art and design templates. But I don't suggest you to do this because honestly, we'll customize every single part of this template. So sometimes it could be easier to customize, for example, travel, travel templates to our own template because we'll change every single image and we'll change every single text here. So sometimes it's easier to find the website from different from other categories and then just customize. So uh, honestly, I don't suggest to do this. Uh, you can easily like choose the type of the uh, like template to portfolio, membership, blog, scheduling and so on. It depends on your purposes. So in this case, I'm going to use like a website as a portfolio for the artist. So we can view it right up here. A lot of different like uh, templates we can easily use. As you can see, they all have different structure. So you have to find something which is suitable as for you. So in my case, I'm going to use this template here. I'm just going to click on preview to find how does it looks like. So we can switch between different templates. And as you can see, uh, this side is totally responsive. So it's available on different devices and all of them are optimized. Uh, the, web, the template design is optimized for every single part here. So we can just simply click on start with this design and we'll come to our main managing page where we can manage different settings. So let's choose the name, for example, let it be like site one or site zero. Let's click on continue, next, next, let's get started. And here we are on our managing page. From this page, I, I'd like to change the design. So let's go to design folder here. Let's click on uh, site styles and the first thing I want to do to customize to make it more suitable as for me is to change fonts. So I'm going to fonts and on the font pack I'm going to click on switch to, to change the font group I'm going to use on my website. So firstly I think this is the most suitable because we can choose the template and after that just customize it for as for us, which is suitable as for us. So I think that this one here is pretty good. So I'm going to click on save in the left top corner and then in a few seconds everything is done. All the fonts will be successfully changed and as for me it's a huge advantage of Squarespace. Let's go to site styles, go to click on close and here we are on our editing page. I'm going to click on exit because I want to change something more. I want to go to colors here and I'm going to click on edit pleat. So from this page, we can change all the main colors on our page to make them more suitable. And as for me, it's pretty, pretty cool that we can easily change the font, like the fonts and the colors, and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to use something which is really not that black, I think. So let's try to find something which is suitable as for us. So I think, I think, uh, this one is pretty cool. It, it looks much, much better. So let's click on save and we'll come back to colors, side styles, and I'm going to click on close. 
And here we are on our editing page. What can we do from here? We can customize every single element. So firstly, I want to change this picture. I'm going to click on edit, click on replace and browse stock image. I'm going to find something as uh, from stocks, but you can easily upload it from yourself. So I'm going to use something like modern. I'm going to use this one. Maybe it's pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see, we can customize every single part. We can like change the design, add some like corners, corner radius and so on. And in this case, we can customize every single part. We can just simply change the like, you know, text here. So let it be like helper, man, tutorials, page, let it be like this. We can make it bold, we can make it italic, change the color and so on change the alignment make it as a list so there are a lot of a lot of options and we can change the position basically so they provide us the opportunity to do it we can make it like uh, change the align vertically uh, flip or do some other stuff we can also duplicate our text if it's necessary as for us so uh, there are a lot of options we can do we can also move this section down uh, if you want to show this picture first we can add new sections for example if we need to add the people area for example with our maybe team or group so we can simply add it we can also customize it so let's click on edit section edit the background let it be the art maybe something like this so as you can see and now it looks much much better in this case we can simply edit content we can edit the content we can change the images we can change the text we can change the description here so it's uh, like pretty cool we can delete somebody somebody from this page and so on or we can delete the wall section so let's click on remove and this is the way of how can we interact we can also add different blocks like different elements text button form newsletter shape line map markdown code like scrolling area and so on so there are a lot of options basically what can we do and when everything is done we can just simply click on save and all the changes will be successfully published so now as you can see our website looks like this and it's pretty cool that it provides us the opportunity to use it also they have like different paid plans they provide us the opportunity to try it for free for 40 days trial and after that we can easily uh, buy the personal plan or business and there is like also two plans for commerce so as you can see like $16 per month and $23 the difference is not that big so we can find all the uh, like differences right up here and after that uh, we can simply decide what is suitable as for us as for me I suggest you to try it for free and after that decide but as you can see business is the most popular plan so this is a way of how can we deal with squarespace as an artist hope guys this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe and of course if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below basically that's it for this video see you soon subscribe and goodbye